assume that you invest 1000 rupees and that investment value becomes 2000 you will be like wow my returns are 100% but wait that's only your absolute return the time it takes for this 1000 rupees to become 2000 rupees is also equally important assume that in this case it takes 3 years for 1000 rupees to reach 2000 rupees so what do you think my growth rate per annum is 33.33% each year right that is incorrect here you are not considering the effect of compounding that's where cagr comes in the formula to compute CAGR is final value divided by initial value, the whole raised to the power 1 divided by time period minus 1. So substituting the values in this example, your CAGR will be 25.99% or in other words 26%. So what this means is that 1000 rupees invested at the beginning of the year grows at 26% to become 1260 at the end of year 1. This 1260 again grows at the rate of 26% to become 1587.4 at the end of year 2 and this 1587.4 grows at 26% to become 2000 at the end of year 3. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like these.